I, 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 I want to start by thanking my fellow candidates. I want to thank the returning officer. I want to thank the police. And I want to thank the brilliant staff of Doncaster Council for dealing with all of the intricacies of today's count. I, I also want to thank, above all, the people of Doncaster North for re-electing me as their Member of Parliament. I want to thank my brilliant Labour Party members who are here today. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of the Labour Party members right across our country who have done such an extraordinary job throughout this campaign. Now, the results are still coming in, but this has clearly been a very disappointing and difficult night for the Labour Party. We haven't made the gains we wanted in England and Wales. And in, and in, and in, Scotland, and in Scotland, we've seen a surge of nationalism overwhelm our party. Now, I want to say to all the dedicated and decent colleagues in Scotland who have lost their seats that I'm deeply sorry for what has happened. And I also want to say that the next government has a huge responsibility. It has a huge responsibility in facing the very difficult task of keeping our country together. Uh, whatever party we come from, if we believe in the United Kingdom, we should stand up for people in every part of our United Kingdom. Because, you know, I believe that what unites us is much, much more than what divides us. For, friends, I'm now going to go to London to await the full results to come through. But I just want to reiterate my thanks to the people of Doncaster North. North. It is a huge privilege to be your Member of Parliament. It is a huge privilege for you to have placed your trust in me. Thank you very much.